Hey, welcome back guys. So guys, in this video, we will be, well, I'll be making this video and you guys will be watching to the very end, hopefully, uh, because you guys would want to. Um, I'll be talking to all of you guys about the ants that live in Mexico. So without further ado, let's go. So, Mexico is a tropical and desertic place with a big variation, and it has many different types of climates. There are many types of ants here, but I'm only going to talk about a few because I doubt you'll stay for like 15 minutes. Unless, if you would, then click the like button to show your appreciation, guys. So first, I'd like to talk about the most popular genus here in Mexico, Solenopsis, the fire ant, commonly known as the red ant. There are more than 30 species of Solenopsis here in Mexico alone. A little information about this genus is that they, these ants sting, and it hurts a lot, and it feels a little bit like fire, hence its name. The fire ants bite and inject a toxin called Solenopsin. Hence its scientific name. They come in sizes ranging from 2 to 6 millimeters, and they generally make large mounds of sand or dirt as a nest. They live in the southern United States, South America, Southeast Asia, and Australia. They usually eat young plants, seeds, and insects. They have a very aggressive behavior, and for this reason, there are not many other species near the colonies of fire ants. This ant genus is very successful for many reasons. One of them is due to the rapid growth of the colonies and the work that goes through the queen. A queen lives up to 7 years and can produce up to 1,600 eggs in a single day. The rapid growth allows them to grow faster than any other colony nearby, making them more dangerous and more likely to win a fight. Another reason is their aggression. Their aggression allows them to push any other colony out of their, their area where they get the resources, so they get all of the resources for themselves. Now I want to talk a little about another important genus that is Camponotis. Camponotis is the second most popular genus here in Mexico. Well, these ants are important because they help even out the numbers of Solenopsis by taking the food before them or even going to war with them. Well, they at least try to do that. These ants can be very beautiful with a variety of colors. This genus is generally larger but not as aggressive and does not sting. So what they do is they bite you and then they squirt formic acid which is really painful to other insects. And well, since their formic acid doesn't hurt us, they are easy to care for. They make their nests in rotten wood, twigs, or underground. They eat small insects, fruits, and also farm plant aphids to get honeydew. Honeydew is a substance that is very sweet and it is the substance that aphids produce. Aphids obtain the substance from the plants. The final genus that I will be talking about is Chromatogaster. These are the ants commonly known as the acrobat ants because they always keep their abdomen raised in the air. This genus varies in size from 3 to 7 millimeters. They live in all the places, broken parts of trees, hollow trunks, and branches. They are all over the world except North America and Russia, and obviously Antarctica, even though it has their name in it. They live in forests, fields, pretty much everywhere with a good nesting place for them. And they eat pretty much everything they can find. They eat live food or they forage for dead foods on the ground already. Well, I'd like to wrap it up with a few major announcements. But first, I want to thank all of you guys so much because it shows that you guys actually like my videos. Only 18% of you guys actually watch till this part. So big thanks to all of you guys that actually stay until the very end. The big announcements are that I have three major projects coming soon. And one of them is actually already being worked on which is a bug based game. This game is going to be the number one game on the markets and it will be really fun. I'm really excited for this. Uh, the developers are me, the programmer, Northern Ants, the modeler, and the Ophenogaster, the artist. There will be dedicated videos on that soon and the two other projects are coming really soon. So guys stay tuned for all of those videos and projects. So that's going to be all of this video. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it, and comment if you want to talk to me. Um. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.